Hello, my dears. We're back again. Sylveon. All right, we did the base game. Introduced the core concepts for this game. All right, but I think the real fun comes when we move on to the advanced game. And this is going to add in more cards. It's going to add in different game mechanics, and it's definitely going to ramp up the difficulty. So let's let's play the advanced game. And before I do that. I'm curious, just a little straw poll if anyone has a thought. Onarim, Sylveon, if you've played both, or if you've watched me play both, which one do you lean toward? Do you have a favorite of the two? And if so, why? I'm just curious. I'm just curious if um, one of them is more popular or well-liked than the other, because they're such different games. Um, I am just, just want to know your thoughts. If you're interested in sharing them, love to hear it. Let's stick with Sylveon for now. We're going to move on to the advanced game. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, first things first, let me do a quick correction from my basic playthrough. One of my Eagle Eye viewers noticed that I was playing these um, Simone, Simon, Simone cards wrong. Okay, these Blaze cards, not Simone. What am I talking about? blaze cards. These were the ones where you upgrade every elemental on the board to one power higher unless it's a zero and it goes to a four. Okay, wait, rewind. Let's state this correctly. You upgrade every basic elemental. All right, so for example, if you have a level one basic and you get a blaze card, right, you take him out and you're going to replace him with a two. Now, the way I was playing it was the next time I pulled a blaze card, I was upgrading my two to a three. And the next blaze card, I was upgrading my three to a four. You don't have to do that, all right? You don't have to do that. That makes, that's a little too difficult, okay? What you need to do is you only replace the basic elementals, all right? If you get a blaze card, your basic elemental blazes up one higher and it's not affected by any other blaze cards. So he's never gonna get higher than a two. He won't pop to a three or a four, okay? So it only affects them once and then you don't replace them. I promise I'll play that right in this game so you can see it in action, but I just wanted to take a minute and throw that rules correction out front, okay? So aside from that, I think we did okay. I think we did okay. Now, what goes into this new deck we're gonna build? All right, so first things first, let's start with the obvious. Our little forest cards, they're going to stay in, no change. We're going to use them a little differently though, all right? But you're still going to need these and we're going to set them aside for now. We're not going to build our game mat quite yet, all right? Not quite yet. Second thing that's going to happen is our hand of cards that we draw from our defender deck, we are going to add two to every card we played with last time. So two additional animals, two additional trees, two additional fountains. So we're gonna take these, shuffle them into our regular old deck. And you can tell this is for the advanced game because down here in the corner, they're all gonna say A, all right? So we're just gonna stuff them together. And what this will mean is that there are gonna be four of everything, all right? We're gonna have four of owls, four of level four, uh, one trees, four level one fountains. So we're going to see each card four times. We're not going to play with all of these, but they will be an option for us to use. Okay, so shuffle those together, set them aside. Now, hmm, yes, the Ravage deck. Okay, we were playing with only um, C's and D's last time. Okay, only C's and D's. We're going to add in two new cards. So we're going to add in A's and B's, okay? We'll go over what they do when they pop up. But for now, just know we're going to be adding these in as well. And once again, they're going to be eight of all of these. So eight A's, eight B's, eight C's, and eight D's, okay? I'm going to add those in to our deck. And again, in the corner, all labeled A for the advanced game. Stick those in there, right? And last one, we get some new animals to play with, okay? Fish, four dogs, a stag, the doves, 
and the squirrels. And these also come with some new additional powers. And I think, yeah, I think before we begin the game, I'm just gonna do a quick talk through of, of how these work because the first thing we have to do to start Sylveon in the advanced game is we have to mobilize our forces and we have to draft cards into our deck. So knowing what these do is gonna influence whether or not we choose them in the mobilization phase. So, so let's, let's clarify these little guys first. All right, so the little squirrels, these little manic squirrels wearing glasses, and I think this is very apropos because their ability is to peek ahead. So if you play a squirrel, cost you one dewdrop, you'll be able to look at the top two cards of all of the Ravage decks and return them into any order you want. They have to go back on the same deck, all right? So you have to put them back on the deck you pulled them from, but you can decide which is on top and which is on bottom. So they let you peek ahead. Okay. The doves, the doves are wonderful little cards. They also cost one. And what they say is you get to discard the first card off of every Ravage deck. Can't do this when they're revealed, all right? Once they're revealed, only the hedgehogs can nullify them. The dove we play during our defense stage. So these cards are gonna be face down on the Ravage deck. So we're not gonna know what they are, but remember, we're trying to get through those decks, right? And this will, in essence, take one turn off the table for us. They're gonna push us through those Ravage decks a little bit faster. Even cooler is if you can get a squirrel-dove combo because we can peek ahead, put the truly horrible cards on top and then kill them all with the doves. So though these two really combo really nicely together. So the doves of peace, okay? Take care of those. Stag cards, all right. So stag cards are interesting and they're free to cast. Okay. And you can choose, this is an either or, so we can choose one of these two effects. The first we can do is we can flip two edge cards to their bloom side. So if we've lost two of our forests to the battle, the stag will let us flip two over instantaneously for no cost. That's awesome. The second thing the stag can do, and if you can play your cards right, this is a pretty neat power as well. This side says, for every tree we have in play on our battlefield, okay, we can turn over one edge forest card to its bloom side, all right? So this has the potential. This will give us two edge cards flipped to the bloom side. This, however, if we have three or four trees, can flip a ton. So the stag is pretty powerful if you can get down a bunch of tree cards and get your forest growing. So he's worth having in your hand. And the last one, probably the most controversial card, are the fishes. There's a big debate over whether or not the fishes are underpowered. And, and, and here's why. What the fish do is it costs a point, and this card becomes three teardrops worth of uh, casting ability. All right. And mm, the owl, remember, for one, you get to draw three cards that cruises through your defender deck very quickly, right? You're running through your defender deck and in the advanced game, that has some ramifications. The fishes, however, the fishes give you extra summoning power without burning a bunch of cards. So they can be helpful, but I think of all the animals, um, these are probably the lowest tier as far as what they do for what they cost, all right? But they're added in. They're added in as well. So we're gonna take these new animals, shuffle them in to our defender deck. So the Ravage cards have grown, all right? We're gonna have four stacks of 16 instead of 12, so we have to last a little bit longer. Our defender deck has grown, but unfortunately, we don't get all of these cards, all right? Now, in the advanced ga game, the first step is going to be mobilization, and we're gonna recruit trees, animals, and fountains into our player deck. Let me show you how you do that. So let's start with mobilization. And for that, we're gonna need our bloom deck, burn side down, and our own personal defender deck with every card in it for the advanced game. 
give it a good shuffle. And let's begin now. Four is the magic number for the mobilization step. I'll, I'll explain why. The first thing we need to do is summon four cards. We're just going to turn the first four face up. All right. Second, we're going to recruit. And we're going to take one of these columns and select all the cards in it. Pretty easy. I'm going to want one of these fountains. So let's recruit this level four fountain into our deck. I'm just going to set that one aside. We're going to summon again four cards into the four columns. And if there's ever four cards in one of these columns already, you're going to skip it and move on. All right, so you can only have four in a column at any time. Now we're going to have some desertion. Not everyone's up to fighting these fire elementals. And some of these cards are going to desert. And to decide which one, that's where the bloom deck comes in. We're going to flip over the top card and we're going to check this little number on top and it's number four. So column number four is going to desert. They've decided that they don't want any part of this fight and we're not going to be able to use them in our deck, which is a bummer because that's a great fountain but they're out. We're just going to discard them. And now we're going to start the process all over again. We're going to summon mm, little tree, fountain, tree, and doves. Mm. So now we get to decide what do we want. I would love to get those doves, but they're all by themselves, right? I get four here with a whale, but they're really cheap trees. Or I can get a middle fountain, a middle tree, and a squirrel. So let's go for this one. Let's go for column three, I think. Oh, this one's pretty good, though. Or a stronger fountain, but no squirrels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's take some squirrels, just to see how they play. Summon four. And dessert. Column three. Mm, not too bad. We lost the whale. This guy already has four, so we're going to skip him. Ooh, owl. I love owls. Oh, and the big fountain. Do, 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 do. Man. So I like to make sure I have a little bit of everything when I play, okay? So I want to make sure I pick up a whale. I want to make sure I pick up an owl. I want to make sure I pick up a dove. But we have that superpower fountain right there. But I feel like I've taken a lot of fountains already. So let's go for... I haven't picked up any trees yet. So that's a fountain, a fountain, and a tree. Hmm. Or the whale. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, let's go for it's a level two tree. That's a level one tree. And that's a level three tree. All right, let's go big. Let's go big. Let's pick up an owl. Let's take that. I still have four, so I'm going to skip that. More squirrels, more fountains. Ooh, and a stag. All right, who deserts? Oh, darn it. I lost my doves and my stag. All right, all right. Ooh, a big fountain, a stag, and an owl. Okay, I have an owl. I already have squirrels. Do I want a stag? Yeah, let's take the stag, because there's some great fountains back here, right? Let's take the stag. All right. Oh, an elephant. Who's deserting? Three. All right, that's okay. Lose a tree. More squirrels. Mmm. Mmm. I definitely need more trees. Man, though, check this out. Look at this. I could go really fountain heavy. I could go really fountain heavy. Let's do it. Let's go fountain heavy. Hopefully this will be here next turn, because this is the one I really I think I'm going to aim for. Let's do it. Let's go fountain heavy. Stag, tree, fish. All right, who's deserting? Two, the stag. Great, great. Okay, that one's full and that one's full. Yeah, let's take this guy now, right? An owl, a fish, and an elephant. I love those elephants. Let's take him out. Ooh, hedgehog. I want that hedgehog. <gasps> okay. Okay, good, good, okay. 
I love the hedgehogs. Ooh, with a dove. Okay, that's a no-brainer. Let's do the hedgehogs and the dove. Mine. I do need some trees. We do need trees. Don't forget about the trees. Number one. Ooh. All right. Whale. Have I picked a whale yet? Ooh, hedgehogs plus doves plus a tree. I don't think I have a whale yet. Stick around, whale. I'm going to come back for you. I'm going to come back for you. But let's take these guys. Okay, who's going? Who's going? Two. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Ooh, yes, yes. I want all the hedgehogs. <gasps> Ooh. We're going to do this because we don't have a whale yet. We need a whale. We need at least one whale. Okay. Who do we get? One. Ah, oh, that was a lucky. That was lucky. A whale. Oh, my hedgies. Oh, my hedgies. Oh, but I don't have a stag. And I get two elephants. Please stick around, okay? Don't go anywhere. I'll be back for you. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the drafting phase. Let me show you how this process ends, all right? No, my hedgies are gone. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry I missed you. So we're going to play out our last card here, okay? Now we still get two pick, okay? Um, the drafting process ends when you turn over a bloom card and there's nothing in that column, okay? So we still get to go. So we can either do a big tree with a whale and some little fish, not interested in the squirrels, or an elephant, a very sad fountain, and a medium tree. I think we got a lot of elephants, didn't we? I think we only have one whale. Um, um, gosh, that's hard. But I like the squirrels. All right, let's let's do this one. Let's do this one. And I guess it's really up to you if you want to play that you can look through your summoned deck and see what you've already taken, uh, if you want to really balance it out, or if you just want to make things a little harder, don't let yourself peek. You know, test your memory. It's, that's one of the reasons we play games, right? So I'm not going to look back. I'm not going to look back. I'm going to go for... Do have a lot of fountains and a whale with massive fountains is powerful. I'm gonna go for squirrels. I'm gonna do it. So now I'm gonna flip. Hopefully it's a four. It is awesome. So we still get to summon. I get to take them after all. Oh, I got lucky there. All right, last card left. And we cancel it out. Okay, so we did it. We did the mobilization phase, and we now have our all right, this is what we get to play with. Now, interestingly enough, we're going to have to do this. We're, gonna, we're not going to be able to keep this deck intact through the entire game. When we run through our deck, okay, and it's time for a reshuffle, we're going to have to go through what's called the demobilization phase. And we're going to have to get rid of a few of the cards from our deck. Don't worry, I'll explain that when we get there. For now, Let's set up our forest and start playing. So here it is, ready to play. You'll notice, right off the bat, our forest is totally healthy. We don't start with any of these cards already burned. There's a reason for that. We've got a lot more in our ravaged deck moving across the board, and some of them are gonna get through. Cold hard reality, some of them are gonna get through. So remember, we lose if all of our forest gets turned bloom side down. Uh, we also lose if at the end of the game, any of these cards are burned, all right? So we have to keep some of these blooming, and by the end, we have to replant our entire forest. Let's see how we did drafting our cards. I'm gonna start with eight cards. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my hedgehogs. Ah, these make me so happy. All right, so let's see. Tree, a whale, a hedgehog, a tree, an elephant, and two spouts. Oh, great starting hand. Great starting hand. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, let, let the defense begin. Let's see what 
these little ravagers are going to bring to us. Reveal, resolve. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Blaze. <gasps> Ooh, a big fire. A double move. And another, oh my. All right, that was not what I wanted to see. I could hedgehog both of them. All right, I could hedgehog both of them. That seems a little bit crazy though. Okay, so I'm thinking I might hedgehog one. The other guy's gonna get through, but I do have my elephant to take out the next, okay? And then hopefully we'll be able to get in some, some fountains, some fountains. So let's do that, let's do that. That's gonna be the game plan. So first, hedgy, served well. And let's get rid of one of these. Get rid of him. And then we'll resolve the rest, alphabetical order. So C first. We're going to blaze this guy. All right. Ew. We're going to blaze this guy up to a four. Wow. Okay. Right off the bat. And we're going to move him. Okay. Okay. Movement phase. He's going to scoot forward one more but it's our turn it's our turn we get three cards for reinforcements squirrels oh let's use those baby fountain and doves yeah yes yeah yes that's what i like to see okay first things first though we need we need to get rid of this guy so let's um, play our elephant casting cost of one that's no problem we got a bunch of baby trees we don't need okay and we're gonna just shoot him Put him out just for starters. Okay. Second, I would love to get down one of these fountains. All right, because that's a three. That's really not bad. So let's do it. Let's spend two cards. Yep, yep, yep. And let's stick him. Learned our lesson. Let's stick him front and center. Next. Let's play, man, we're really going through the cards here, aren't we guys? All right, let's play our little squirrels. We'll pay for it here. And let's peek at the top two cards, knowing we have a dove in reserve. And let's put these back in any order we want, all right? The bottom row is, oh, a baby and a blaze, all right? Next up is, oh, a baby, ah, here we go. This is uh, one of the new cards, all right? And as you can tell, <laughs> they don't look so good in this card. Our little squirrels are very unhappy. And what this one says is, this forces a demobilization, all right? We can either remove a random card from our discard pile, okay? The ones we've already played through, so I should probably keep these separate. Okay, those are the Ravage cards are going to go up here. And these are the cards we've already gone through. I'll stick them up here. So we can either get rid of one randomly, or if we like, we can get rid of two cards that we, that we cherry pick. Okay, so that's what this means. Either one randomly or two from the discard, but we get to see. And these are removed from the game. All right, so once they're gone, they're gone forever. So that's a horribly harsh card. We might be dubbing it after all. All right, one, two, what have you got? Yep, a zero and a blaze, that's horrible. One, two, oh, oh my goodness. Another demobilization. And all right, this one is called desiccation. I know, that's great, great uh, terminology, right? Desiccation. It has kind of the same effect as your demobilization, but the demobilization occurs from your discard pile and the desiccation recurs, occurs from your hand, okay? You either discard one card blind from your hand or you can choose two cards to discard from your hand. Either way, don't want to do it. <laughs> I vote no. Um, so we got to put these back any way we want. Okay. So one of these car two cards is going to get through, but we can cancel out the rest with our lovely dove. 
all right and we'll know what's what's coming around the next time so let's cancel out of those two i feel like losing one card from our hand now these just get discarded all right these just get discarded when they're coming from our hand so desiccation takes away cards from your hand into your discard pile uh, this one demobilization removes them from the game all right so if we let desiccation get through we would either have to discard our hedgehog or our whale okay not too worried about the whale not too worried about the whale so um i think we might do that oh no but we need the whale to pay for the dove darn it that means we'd have to discard our hedgehog and that's that's just not happening okay so let's let's shoot let's make sure this one dies meaning this guy we're gonna have to demobilize from our discard pile all right but we're gonna kill desiccation okay here a blaze or a level zero hmm that's interesting i think we're going to take out the blaze take out the blaze let's let the zero go through all right we'll take out the blaze we definitely want to take out the mobilization and maybe we'll let the blaze card go through here because oh wait a minute what if we let the zero go through and the next turn we'll have two blaze cards but nothing to blaze would that work Mm hmm. Oh, no, we would have one. So it would go up to a level two, but he's a three. I might be okay with that. I might be okay with that, right? Yeah, what if we do that? Hmm. Let's go for it. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. We'll let the blaze live. We'll get rid of the zero. We'll let that one get blazed. We'll kill demobilization we'll let that one go through and we'll kill that baby flame all right let's do it let's dove it up let's dove it up and we're going to remove the top cards okay so that's one round for us okay let's see how that worked we have our hedgy we're going to hold on to him we're going to end our turn we know it's coming, right? All right. Couldn't avoid that. We're going to blaze. He's going to pop up. We have another blaze. But remember, once we upgrade him once, we don't have to do it again. But let's resolve these in alphabetical order. So the first thing we have to do is decide what are we going to lose? One card randomly or two cards that we pick? All right. So... I think I'm going to go with two cards we picked because we have a lot of, we have some sad cards in our hand. So let's go ahead and the rest are really good. I don't want to lose my hedgies. I'm protective of them. These gods are out of the game. Sorry, guys. You served well. You served well. All right. So we resolved that. He's gone. Blazes. Okay, you are going to up to a two. But... You're not going to upgrade again. Everybody moves. Ha, welcome to my fountain. And he dies. Okay, we're looking good. Don't have a lot of cards <laughs> here. One. Oh, good. Two. Three. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I really want to get him out. But if I do so, I lose my hedge. I lose my hedge. I don't know if I'm up for that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, let's hold it. Let's hold it. Right. Mm, 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 mm. I miss my owls. I'll be honest. I miss my owls. Okay. If I get him down, I have nothing. I got nothing. All right. Let's hold on. Let's play conservative. It's 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 early days. Let's 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 play conservative. Okay. We have our hedgy. Let's hope nothing crazy happens here. Double move. All right. No problem. Please. <gasps> A forced discard? Oh, 
Okay, but that's all right, because if we had put down a fountain, we might be in trouble. Now we have our hedgies. All right, all right. So how do we want to play this? How do we want to play this? That guy's a pain because there's a chance we could have to discard our four, right? If I do it blind, I got a one in three chance. Not bad, not bad. Don't mind the double move. Don't mind the double move. I don't like that blaze, all right? So we could play our hedgy just to take him out. We'll lose one of the cards from our hand. We'll hope it's not our four and we'll go from there. Or we could take out the blaze, let him move forward three. We'd have to stick something way back here, right? Hmm. Or we can get a little bit risky. Ha ha ha. Now this would be, this would be a bit of a bet, okay? When this little elemental reaches the end, he's going to do the amount of damage that you see up here. All right. So that means he's going to move forward one because of the Simone card. He's going to move forward one on his own. Now, if we don't get another blaze, and this is where things get a bit dicey, we could potentially have him slip to the edge and cause no damage, all right? So we can neglect him. If he does blaze, right, he's going up to a four, and then he's gonna slip to the edge and do four points of damage. But that's, that's, that's the trade-off, right? Um, that's the trade-off. We have, of course, our whale in here somewhere. And if he pops, we can use him to move him off the edge when he's a zero. So we could also bet that he won't blaze or before the blaze happens, we pull ourselves our whale. Hmm. So how lucky are you feeling? How lucky are you feeling? It's a choice. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I, I am not feeling that lucky. So let's do this. Let's take out, um, let's just take out level zero. All right. We're not going to give him a chance to charge across the board and kill us. I don't know. Maybe that was the right move. Maybe it wasn't. We'll resolve everything else in order. The first thing we need to do, of course, is pull a card, any card. And as long as it's not our number four fountain, we're good. We're good. Oh, seriously. Seriously, the odds are just out to get me. We resolve these to no effect. All right, well, life's a risk. Three cards. One, two, three. Ooh, stag. All right, we don't have any trees down. So we're definitely going to pull up this fountain, okay? We're definitely going to pull up this fountain. Stick him here. We'll pay with three. We'll hold on to this fountain for now. All right. Oh, no, just kidding. Two. It only costs two. Oh, okay. I don't have any trees, but we'll hold on to stag. We'll hold on to stag for now. All right, we got nothing, people. We just got to hope our fountains hold off the horde. Oh, a two with nothing in front of him. A one, yay. A zero, not a blaze. Oh, awesome. That was great. That was great. Okay, so let's move everybody. He sneaks out. Both of these guys, however, are killed. And he also sneaks out. All right. Let's get our reinforcements in here. What have we got? Whaley, yay! One hedgies back. Two, ooh, and an elephant, and an elephant. All right. So a whale for zero, for sure. And the question is, who do I take out? Hmm. I can always Ellie someone, right? I can always Ellie someone. So let's take out, take out the two. If this guy proves to be a problem, we can, we can take him out later. Okay. So let's take out the two for now. And we're going to pay for that with our elephant. All right. We have our hedgies, which I'm good about, and this guy's hanging out here. Um, oh no, sorry, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I was supposed to have him. 
We, we paid with the whale. We're going to move him into this fountain. My bad, my bad. Okay. And we're going to hold on to the Ellie for now, or should we just destroy him where he stands? Let's hold on to it, because maybe, um, why don't we get him down? Why don't we get him down? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Pay our stag and put our fountain down, okay? I know he's one step back and that's not optimum, but you know, we work with what we got. Um, hopefully this guy will, will take him out. Hopefully he doesn't blaze. If he does blaze and destroy our fountain, we do have our Ellie in reserve. So I feel pretty good about that. All right, let's see what we got going on. Oh no, sadness. Okay, <gasps> sadness. Another zero. Oh no. Okay, so we can hedgy someone. If I hedge someone, I'm only left with Ellie, right? So I will lose Ellie into the discard pile. Not too bad though, because all of these guys are taking care of themselves. And I really don't like those demobilization cards because they, they, they take the cards out of the game. So let's do that. Let's hedgy this little sad guy and get rid of him. And we will just resolve as is. So we'll have to desiccate our elephant. He's gone, but I took care of that. And now we're gonna move him. So he gets hit with a fountain. He gets hit with a fountain and he moves down. Oh, that one's gonna blaze, I can tell. All right, three cards. Fountain, yes. Ellie, yes. Baby fountain. All right, all right. So, mm -mm -mm. all of the choices. We can go defense, all right? We can pop this fountain in that top row and have a chance of blocking anything that comes out, okay? Or our other choice is to play the elephant and take this guy out before he blazes. All right. What do you think? What do you think? Think he's gonna blaze? Or do you think he'll stay at zero? All right, we've played it safe. Let's take a risk. Why not? Why not? Let's stick our fountain down and let's just hope for the best. <laughs> it's always a great plan. I'm gonna discard both my cards to do that though. All right, we got nothing. We got nothing except fountains. But I, you know, when I was drafting this, I knew I was gonna go fountain heavy. So let's, let's play the hand. We have been dealt a one, perfect. A two, perfect. A zero, perfect. And a two, yes. All right, these fountains are working for us. Let's move everybody. You get destroyed. You get destroyed. You get destroyed you get destroyed and you move in. All right, so that's gonna be a two on two. And remember, if it's tied, they both get killed, okay? So that's okay, because this fountain was in a really bad position. I, I, ah, I like to put him in that front row. Let's see what we can do here. Squirrels, yes. Squirrels cost one, and you see where this weird fish fish kind of is a bit kooky here. Um, so let's, let's squirrel, let's squirrel, right? I mean, what else can we do? Okay, so let's get rid of a tree to pay for our squirrels. Let's take a peek at these top two cards, see what's coming. We got nothing in our hand. A three or a one. Okay. What else have we got? A one or a three. Uh-oh, our fountains are going to be in trouble. All right. Ugh, this horrible. Okay. Oh, 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 yuck. All right. Well, the good news is we only have one card in my in our hand and I'm not partial to it. All right. So if I let these desiccations go through, I'll only lose that card, which would be great. The problem is that leaves me with a three that's gonna jump to a four next turn. So what happens if I blaze this turn? Hmm, not good. If I let this blaze go through this turn, right? We keep our desiccation here. We don't have a problem. He's gonna jump up to a two, not a problem. The problem occurs down here because he's gonna turn into a three. And when they're tied, 
right? When they're tied, I don't mind because they both get destroyed. But if he goes to a three, he's going to not only take down my fountain, he's going to live. And that would be bad. All right. So let's say, hmm. So let's say I blaze now. No, even next turn it won't work. I miss my hedgehogs. Where are you? Oh, I don't see any way around it. Our fountains are going to get wiped out. <laughs> there is just no two ways around it. But that's okay. I'm going to make sure that if I lose a fountain, he's going to take someone down with him. All right. So let's make sure if we lose a fountain, he takes someone down with him, which means I don't want a blaze to pop first. Okay. So I'm going to let that desiccation sit on top here. All right. Good chunk. For this one, I want I want that to hit before it blazes, okay? Because, like I said, if that fountain's going down, it's taking someone with it. Same here, okay? I'm going to put that three on top. They're going to kill each other, but what can we do? And for this one, let's put that one on top. We'll save that three because that sounds like fun. Okay. All right. We peeked ahead with our squirrels. We know it's coming. Let's face the music. Okay, here we go. Ready? Desiccation. Fountain killer. Fountain killer. Eventual fountain killer. Right. I only have one card. Discard it. That wasn't too painful. But this is where things get sad. All right. You guys hit each other, explode. We get to draw a card because our fountain was destroyed. So we'll take one of those. You're going to hit each other. Again, we get to draw another card. And you're going to hit each other. Another card. And this little guy pops onto the board. Wow, wow, that was just, that was just mean. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back and a dove. Okay. Reinforce for three. So we're gonna get, ah, oh, awesome. Some more cards in our hand, which we need. Okay. Oh, oh, great, great. Okay, so we have a level four fountain. It's gonna cost us three cards. Ooh, shoot, shoot, shoot. But we gotta get that down, right? I mean, we've got to. There's no reason to stag, so we can, we can spend that. Mm, an Ellie for one. A dove will take it straight off the top. We don't know what it is though, right? How many are left? Let's just see, how are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're halfway through, we're halfway through. We don't know what we're gonna dove though. Oh, we do know, don't we? <gasps> because of that squirrel. Oh, that's right. So upcoming was memory test time. Who remembers what it was? I know I have a desiccation coming up. I have a blaze so it was a blaze a desiccation and then two fires ooh let's dove let's get rid of those right yeah yeah i like that okay that means we can only get down one fountain but i'm okay with that i'm okay with that let's burn through our entire hand right if I put a four here, this three is going to jump to a four. My fountain won't be able to stop it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to dub it. So all of these are gone. Now, problem is, <laughs> I don't know what's coming. So my squirrels kind of got a bit, oh well. oh well, I'm sure that was worth it. We'll find out. Um, I can either kill him with my Ellie, leaving me both of my fountains to potentially get out next round. I'm only gonna get three cards. Except I haven't hit my owl yet, have I? So I might get more. So there, once again, you know, it's this, how do you play this, aggressive or conservative? Do I hope, hope that my owl's still sitting somewhere in here and that I'll be able to get down maybe both of these? Or do I just play it safe and get one down right now? Let's play it safe, let's play it safe. I don't wanna lose our Ellie. This guy might sneak through if we do that, but that's all right. Let's get, I feel like we've lost all of our fountains and I don't like that feeling. All right, three cards and let's stick him right up here. And let's see what comes. 
Oh no, another blaze. <gasps> and we've got nothing. Couldn't have timed that better. Mm, darn it. Mm, darn it. Okay. In order, how do we go? A, doesn't affect us. B, okay, so what do we do? We either pick two or we pick one and it's gone from the game. I don't know, I think we got a lot in here to get rid of, don't you guys? I feel like we've got a lot of, not my hedgies, no way. <laughs> don't I have some little sad little fountains in here? I thought I did. There's one, get rid of him. There's another sad fountain in here. Mm, one, two, he's not bad, uh, he's not bad, here we go. All right, let's do that. Sad fountains, thank you for playing, but you're gone. That takes care of him. And now, unfortunately, we do have to blaze, but at least it's not gonna take out any of our hard fought for fountain. So he goes up and he goes up. Okay, not bad, not bad, could be worse, could be worse. He moves and he moves. Okay, three cards, one. Ooh, more doves. There's my owl. I knew he was in there somewhere. Okay, so first let's definitely owl and get three more. Ah, oh, my owls are sitting on the bottom. You bums. Not helping out owls. Let's do it again. <gasps> it will cause a demobilization though if I do that. All right. And that means we're going to have to remove some of the cards from the game. So, but I think we have to. I think we have to. All right. Let's do it. Let's pay for our owl. Draw our last two cards, squirrels and doves, my favorite combos. All right, and now let's go through another round of demobilization. And once again, we have a choice. All right, we have a choice. We're gonna shuffle up our cards. We can either, and again, this is remove from the game, okay? Remove from the game two cards that we pick or we shuffle the deck and we just lose the top card. Ooh, that's hard because we already got rid of our sad fountains. <laughs> I don't think we have any more sad fountains in here. Maybe some trees, maybe the stag. Tempted to get rid of the stag because I just don't think we're not playing a tree heavy deck. Um, and the fish, what if we do that? We only have one fish. I'm not a fan of fish. I know that sounds horrible. And I got two stags. All right, oh, we have a sad fountain too. Okay, so let's get rid of, let's choose the option of get rid of two that we pick. Let's get rid of fish. And let's get rid of sad fountain. Right? Sad fountain. Yeah, sad fountain. Okay. Well, now I'm going to shuffle these up and I have to draw one more card. Okay. Ooh, okay, we're kind of at a crux here. Kind of at, I need more fish. Oh my gosh okay and squirrels oh my god tons of squirrels tons of squirrels okay so i'd love to do that the only problem is mm, 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 mm. the only problem is these guys don't have much of a choice i really need an ellie i desperately need an elephant so let's go ahead and um get rid of fish in a tree all right fish in a tree in order to do our squirrel dove combo. Squirrel it, dove it. Man, I need an elephant. Okay, here we go. What have we got? Uh, where are you, a two versus a three, I'm okay with that. A two versus a one, great. Double move, no problem. And a one, no problem. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good here. A two, e. I feel like I'm losing so many cards. <gasps> Even worse. <gasps> and a double move. All right, all right. So let's see if we can time this right. Doesn't matter who goes first here, right? We don't have any blaze cards. So these guys are safe. This double move, these double moves though, uh, ooh, that would be horrible. So I would love to definitely get rid of a double move. So we're gonna put, we're gonna put the two on top, kill him. We're gonna get rid of the double move card for sure. Okay. Hmm. No. 
what you really don't want to lose anymore. Cards. Ah, but this is interesting. This is going to come from my discard pile. And I've only got that in my discard pile. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, let's let's let that one go through. We have that just happened to hit at the right time, and let's get rid of um. Oh, I will have discarded more cards, but I f feel like I really don't want any more fire elementals out there until I can get some fountains. Let's do that. And all I have in my hand is some squirrels, and I really don't really care about that. And we, I just don't want double move. So let's get rid of double move. Okay. All right. So I peeked ahead with my squirrel, with my little squirrelies. Thank you. I'm going to dove it and I'm going to get rid of these. Gone. No double move. No fire elemental. No double move. Okay. All right. All I'm left with are these sad little squirrels. Stick with me, guys. Stick with me. Let's, let's do it. One. We're almost there. Two. Three, four, in order. The first thing I have to do, just got a card. Okay with that. Second thing I have to do, I don't really have anything great in here, right? I got my doves and my squirrels. I feel like I've gotten my use out of them. So I'm just going to discard one blind and hope for the best. All right. Yes, the fish. The fish I never need. They're gone from the game. <laughs> totally cool with that. And now everybody's going to move. So killed, killed, <gasps> scary, scary. Okay, where are my elephants? <laughs> Three cards. Oh, owl, I love you. And baby fountain and big fountain. All right, so we're definitely doing that. Okay, three cards. Fountain, owl, stag. Let's do that. This owl again. Elephant, finally. Whale, even better. And a dove. Interesting. Okay. So whale, can I get this guy there? One, two, three. I can't. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. All right. Well, let's do the obvious, right? Let's do the obvious first. First, let's get rid of... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I could put a fountain way back here, but that seems so ridiculous to do, doesn't it? Hmm. Uh, he's a two. Oh, we could do that. We could do that. Let me think about this. Can't stop both of these, all right? One of these guys is gonna get through, and I don't want it to be him. So, but let's start with giving ourselves some D. Okay, let's put a little fountain up here. Okay, for now, or down here, why not, down here, okay. Then, I'm gonna cast Ellie. I debated long and hard. Is it, is it better to throw the dubs out, shorten the game? But that level four, he just scares me. So I'm gonna Ellie him. And we're gonna put him out and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this little guy. And again, I'm out of cards. Oh, I miss my hedgies. All right, let's see what goes on. A two, a two, a blaze. So we can't stop it. Oh, and a double move. Oh, okay. No choices, no choices, right? Blaze first, maybe I should have doved. You pop to a three, ka-chunk. You pop to a three. And now we're going to double move. So he makes it through, right? One, two, darn it, darn it. All right, so two of our trees are lost. That's okay. We can replant, we can replant. <laughs> That's all right, double move. All right, these hit each other. They're both three, so they're both gone. And we get a card. Our good old four is going to stand strong here. And that's it. Okay. Hedgies, you're back. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, wow. All right. 
Oh, decisions, decisions. We really need a tree, okay? Oh man, I hope there's a tree in there somewhere. Um, do we get down a baby fountain, keep one hedgie, or do we keep both our hedgies and hold on to our fountains? And I think we're gonna keep both of our hedgies. All right, I really like the flexibility these guys give me. So I'm just gonna end my turn right here and move on. Double move. Whoops. A three, okay. A zero. And a double move. Oh, interesting. I don't think I need, well, except for this guy, except for this guy. He's the only one I would need to hedgy. And again, let's, ooh, how many cards? One, two, three, do we let him get on the board? Because if I can, if I pull an elephant or a whale in my reinforcement stage of those three cards, we'll be able to take him out. We can always stick a fountain in front of him, right? And as long as he doesn't blaze, we could take him out. Ah. Oh. I feel like we're too close to end game to lose it all by risking things. Let's spend a hedge. Let's spend a hedge. Hedgy, my favorites, and take him out. All right. That's the only one I'm going to mess around with because everything else I'm good with. We're going to double move this guy, but he's not going to get very far, is he? All right. Oh, my goodness. It's going to come down to trees. And he's out. Three cards. Oh, please be a tree. No tree. One. <gasps> Two, that stag might just save us. Okay, that stag is gonna save us. That stag is gonna save us. Oh, I'm glad I had hands on him. All right, so first thing first, let's just plant a tree on the board. We'll stick him back there and assume he's going to make it. And the stag, since we only have one tree on the table, we only have one tree on the table. We're going to use the first option, which says, for free, flip over two cards to their bloom side. All right. Two cards to the bloom side. Okay. Stag down. I guess we didn't have to plant that tree. Hmm. Interesting. We don't have to plant him. As long as nothing gets through. Hmm. That's the gamble, right? Because if I don't plant my tree, okay, if I don't plant my tree, I can spend and get down a defense fountain and hold on to both whale and hedgy, right? And that would be great going into the next round. Or I can get a cheap tree down and then I can only get down a baby fountain. But if anything gets through, at least I'll have one card left. I don't think it's worth it, not for one card. Let's, let's go fountain defense. That seems to be the game we're playing. Let's stick with it. Let's go fountain defense. That's gonna cost us two. All right. But we're gonna be left with a whale, so hopefully we'll be able to move things into this fountain if it lives. And a hedgy, okay? And we're full bloom, all right, this is it. Double move. <gasps> Desiccation, no. Ooh, a three on three, I'm okay with that. Okay, okay, I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. I really am okay with that. So we have two options here. This is interesting. I could hedge that level three, right? It'll keep my fountain alive, nothing will move, and I'll have to desiccate my whale. All right, not bad, not bad. And get rid of one. I think I'm gonna do that, I think I'm gonna do that. Hedgies, I love ya, get my thieves. Let's get rid of you, all right. And now let's resolve. First, we lose a card from our hand. No problem. Now we lose a card from our discard. I don't think it's gonna matter at this point because I don't think we're going to get through to our discard. So we'll just do one, an owl. You did a great job, my friend. All right, that takes care of him. And finally, everything moves twice, okay. We are, however, down to nothing. So let's get our three. Hmm. 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 Awesome. We have an Ellie. Hmm. But we can't plant anything as much as I would like. Oh, if we had a dove right now, how sweet would that be? We could just clear out that last round. Okay. 
So all we have is an Ellie, so it's going to come down to this last turn. Oh no, oh no. Here we go. A blaze. Oh, that. Okay, I don't care about that one. <gasps> oh, we don't have any hedges. We don't have any hedges. That's okay, we have an elephant. We have an elephant. Okay, so let's resolve them in order. All right. Oh, who cares? Two from our discard. You're out. Okay. Okay. Blaze. So close. We were so flipping close. He goes up to a four. He's out. And now everyone moves forward one. So our fountain is destroyed. We get a card. That's all right. And now we get to play, right? We get to play. Thank goodness. So at this point, if we needed to plant trees, we could. If we needed to destroy somebody, we can because after our last turn, every elemental left, remember, is going to scoot down and destroy. Okay. So for example, let's say we, if we didn't have the ability to stop him, we could say plant our tree up here. So he would take out four, he would replant four. Okay, so, so we could stop him that way. But we're not going to mess around. We're just going to elephant him. We're just going to elephant him off the board. Kapow. And that's it. Beautiful forest. No more fire. That's the advanced game. There are, of course, expansions because, you know, that's always a cool thing to have. But I think when you add in all of these cards, the drafting, especially, you can really tailor how you want to play. Fountain heavy, do you want to play the stags where you know you're constantly regrowing your forests? Or do you want to play heavy on the animals so you're mostly using special abilities? Man, it really changes the gameplay for this game. Gives it a lot more life, right? A lot more thinky decisions. What do you let through? What do you stop? When do you use what? I know. As always, if you see any goofs, because I'm sure there were, um, note them in the comments so that anyone else watching this gets an accurate view of the game. But I think, I think that's a pretty good overview of the advanced game for Sylveon. Let me know your thoughts, Onarim, Sylveon, which camp are you in, or do you like both equally? Um, I'm just curious, just curious what y'all think. All right, enjoy your week, my friends. I'll see you soon.